Alan Doobie here, and today I'm going to talk to you about play while I am playing in my art journal. I'm starting out with some dilution spray inks here, just squirting them on randomly and blotting off the excess. I have got the use your word stencil that I designed for Stencil Girl, and I'm just using plain old black paint and I am stenciling around the word play. I'm really going to focus on the word play for this because I can actually pull out of the stencil certain words and put them together. Take a piece of deli paper and that's going to protect me from smearing on it while I go for the next word, which is courage. Because it takes a lot of courage to let yourself play some days. And I'm just going around that word so I have courage there. So now I've got my two words and I want to do courage to play. So I am going to pull the letters out of the stencil to build the word two. So I'm going to take the T and try down there and it's about the same height as the O in now. So what I'm going to do is just combine them and build my own word. So I'm going to start with the T and I'm going to go kind of carefully so I don't put too much black down. That way there's room for the O and I'm again going to do it carefully around the O as I build the word too. So I've got courage to play. Now what I'm going to do is come in with a fine detail brush and I'm going to cover up all the other things other than the three words that I want. For larger areas, I can come in with a larger brush. When doing this, I like using a flat brush, but really, any brush you like to use will work. And I'm just painting out all the rest of the words that I don't want here, because I only want courage to play on this. The beauty of using black is it just covers over everything. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of the page until I have an entire page of black as I play. One of the things too about this play is it's not going to be perfect. There are going to be things in it that might be imperfect, but you know what? I'm just playing and having a good time in my art journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you've seen much of my work on my blog, which I'd love for you to pop over and check it out, and if you like it, subscribe to my newsletter, or you've seen in my other YouTube videos, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Shameless plugs in here. But I really like color, and this didn't have enough color for me, so all I'm going to do is come back with my dilutions and hit it with some more color. To get that splotchy part, what I do is I hold the bottle far away, and I push down slowly, and I'll get more of a splotchy, blotty look, which I thought gave it a nice contrast. I really like to have a lot of stuff happening on a page. <laughs> So this was just way too plain for me. So I ended up taking a Stabilo white pencil and writing all over it. The Stabilo really shows up well against the black. Had to get some more words in there. Still wasn't enough. So then I started doodling over the words, but still not enough. So I went and grabbed some heavy bodied acrylics that I've got. And I'm just using a little catalyst blade tool that I'm cleaning off on that tag. Cause you know, why waste anything? And I'm just adding some color and smearing it on. And what I'm doing now is just playing. And some days that's really hard to do to let myself just play. There are all these grown up responsibilities that I'm supposed to be doing, all these things that have to be taken care of. And on those days, it takes a lot of courage for me to set that time aside for me to play because it really keeps me in balance. It keeps my sanity. And in the end, I know it's a good thing, but in the moment, sometimes it's just hard to let myself play. So this art journal page is a reminder to me to have the courage to play. Thanks for joining me for my playtime. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would share it.